Hi everyone, I recently showed this rechargeable light from Omni that was meant to include a rechargeable lithium battery but when we opened it up we found out it's actually using a lead acid battery and I was planning to return it for a refund. It wasn't particularly expensive but it's just the principle of it um, but so many people have said why don't you try and modify it to put in an 18650 battery and use one of these little charge boards because they handle the charging, the overcurrent protection, the over discharge protection, over voltage protection section everything like that um, is built into one of these little boards and I've been thinking about it for a while and I just don't think it's going to be very easy to fit an 18650 in here um, because I would have to solder wires to the end which is never really a good idea with an 18650 anyway it's really better to have proper contacts on the end um, but anyway I'd have to modify the case inside to fit the 18650 then I'd have to solder the wires and I have to fit this little board in and because of the way this is wired, I think we would have to actually make a second cutout for this micro USB. I don't think we'd be able to use the one included for charging because on this charge board, we have the battery connections here, the output here, which is regulated to make sure we don't over discharge the battery. And then we have the input power here. So it's not as easy as just swapping out the battery. Um, you definitely can't just swap the battery out for this and wire it in directly because there's no like proper circuitry on here for charging a lithium ion battery. So long story short, I think I'm gonna fit this maybe in here like this and glue that into place and have a second charge port here and just ignore that first one. And instead of using an 18650, I think I'm gonna use this lithium polymer battery. Um, this is allegedly 1800 milliamp hour which is possible because if you look at the size comparison, yeah, I mean, it's possible that it might actually be a genuine 1800 milliamp hour battery. Um, now this board here, I think it has a TP4056 charge controller chip, and I don't think it's specifically made for polymer batteries. I think it's more designed for lithium ion batteries. Maybe someone in the comment section can clarify that, but I think it will work okay. So yeah, let me try and get this all set up. You can see it fits quite nicely in there, um, and it would be a huge upgrade to this 700 milliamp hour lead acid battery. So let me try and get it set up and see if it works. So the first thing I did was desolder the wires from the lead acid battery and solder them onto our charge board on the battery output terminals. And the next step was to wire the battery to the charge board on the battery input terminals. And now in theory, this should turn on. There we go. Um, so the next step is to make a cutout in the plastic and to mount this board. Um, I might use double sided tape or maybe some glue and yeah, put it all back together and hopefully it will work. Well, I did a pretty bad job with the Dremel tool making the cutout, but the board is now in place. It's hot glued there. You can see I'm trying to move it. It's not moving. The battery is taped in, double-sided tape, foam tape, and it's ready to put back together. I think it's going to be a little bit ugly. Oh, why isn't it working? Oh, that's really bad. It stopped working. Oh, no. So I just spent a lot of time trying to work out what went wrong and I basically put it back to its original state. Um, I ended up desoldering everything from this board, well the PCB strip and the battery, everything. Um, and I ended up doing lots of testing with this little lithium charge board and a bunch of stuff. And long story short, uh, when I hot glued this, it seems to have somehow damaged it. I'm not exactly sure what went wrong, but it's damaged and unfortunately I don't have a second one. So I've just returned it to its original state. It's kind of annoying because it's lead acid um, and I've done like damage to the case where I modified it to put in the new charge board. I might come back to this in the future if I get another one of these boards, but most likely I won't bother. Um, you saw it working before I decided to try and hot glue it in place. So basically this video shows you how to do it. Um, you just have to be careful when securing the board in place and as much as possible it would probably be better to use an 18650 since that's what these boards are designed for rather than the lithium polymer power pack. Um, so sorry to disappoint you but yeah I don't have another one of these boards and honestly I'm getting a little bit tired with the amount of time I've spent on this. It's just not worth my time. Um, so yeah, I did try, but unfortunately went wrong. Uh, but at least I've still got it working, even if it's in its original state. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.